Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Ride TV vlog number four. Today we're gonna go check out Progressive Suspension. Um, I'm gonna go meet up with Corey and Drew over there right now, so let's go. Hey guys, I'm Corey with Tracker Die, and this is Drew at One with Drew, and we're here with our buddy Sean, looking at Progressive Suspension. How's it going guys? Yeah, we're up in our clean room here today, uh, showing the guys where we build all of our uh, lifetime warranty shocks. So that's everything from the 430, 444, 490, and 970 up. Uh, gets built in this room, and uh, gets dyno tested, and tuned here and like I said includes that lifetime warranty. This is the 970 fixture table. Our fixture table allows any of our technicians to come in and build up a 970 the same as if you know Drew is to build one up or Corey to build one up. They'd all perform the same. We build up our shim stacks over here in these other stations here and then bring it back and start loading up the shock uh, and then at that point load it uh, with the nitrogen and take it out to our Gardner systems here that you see uh, which is essentially is a shock dyno and shock tune system and that ensures that we don't get any leakers um, and that they perform the level that uh, we've set parameters for so sorry yeah so we'll load up a shock in here they've got the 970 fixture in here so we just got done running a batch of 970s what they'll do is they'll run a, um, a tune and a, and a test and it'll it'll make sure that it fits within their their load parameters and as long as it it, it, it falls in between we have sort of a tune rate there and we're we're okay to release uh, anything outside of that either gets rebuilt Built or rejected immediately and this helps us ensure that we're not shipping anything that's gonna leak um, or anything that's gonna perform outside of what we've uh, designed them to but what happens here is that these just got taken off the gardener machine and all pass inspection and they were all tuned per application so each one is you know if you've got a triumph it's tuned for the triumph if you got one for uh, a Harley it's tuned for a Harley or what have you um, and that that's even all the, the models whether it's a Dyna or a Sportster um, or an FXR um, or what have you and so yeah we build them up here uh, the whole damper without the spring in, in here and test it um, and then we take it outside and we finish building it up it goes gets dunked uh, in a clean tank and then built up with the spring and the purchase and then and packaged and then shipped out to your door so here's our quality department 10% of everything that comes through that door gets checked we've got components from all over the world so we, we test and spec a lot of product here um, on the regular and that's just part of the way we do business and this is the clapper you took on the hot bike tour, isn't it? Yeah. The one that just worked out for you? Or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, progressive. Not everybody knows that they're shocks. That they just think that we have a lifetime warranty probably because we have a fucking warehouse full of shocks. It's not how it works, you know what I mean? So it's because we hand build every single one and we test them and all that stuff. And that's why it, it, we have the systems here to ensure that we can, can, can do business that way. This is the performance machine, progressive suspension, Burley brand prototype machine shop here. So like shock bodies, um, like it looks like he's doing here today, or even like engine cover for a performance machine. And you can see the guys here working on some critical parts here and, and some critical points on those covers. And this, again, like I said, it just helps keep the production machines running and keeps the uh, prototype guys working and everybody working real close together with the uh, prototype machine shop and the engineer team uh, working hand in hand and able to develop the finest parts for your motorcycle. That bike that ripped my shoulder out on. He has a front brake, what a cheater. I know. Tell him. Sorry dude. Man up. <laughs> 4300 original miles. Every product, once you order it, is made for you and your motorcycle, custom pretty much to what you want. And that's something important to think about as far as any other uh, companies out there and any other choices to be made. Was your stuff made specifically for you or did you just take something that was off the shelf that was sort of made to fit? And that's, there's something to that. This is where we receive all of our raw material from casted pieces to other raw tubes that get cut on a sawmill. And, and cut into, cut down on other machines, uh, whether it's uh, an engine cover or grips or what have you. So each wheel, basically, we get in, it comes in raw, we cut down, and then at that point, we can put on a wheel mill and have a design put in per your order. Each uh, machinist can come out and type in their job number, and if any of the machines break a tool, they can pick what tool that broke and easily get it and go back out to the machine and, and keep the spindles moving. 
we can see here are casted forgings. So we have, uh, these are motor covers ready for our design families to be uh, forged on top of them. Uh, these are like a camp cover, same. We're able to forge these, save a lot of turns. Uh, turns cost us a lot of money. Having them forged saves a lot of money and saves the customers a lot of money as well. So it looks like he's doing some uh, headlight grills right now. So he's got this headlight grill that's ready for an outside process. So it'll probably go out and get black anodized or chrome. So these are our belt sprockets, the belt sprocket area. These are our casted uh, forged belt sprocket blanks. They come in over here and they get turned down on these machines here. And then they come back over here after they've been machined down into something like this and get turned into something more like this with teeth. And then at that point, taken back down and getting a design family or a matching design put into it to match with the rest of your components like your discs and your wheels. So this wheel is rejected for a scratch on the A surface. So that means it's on a surface that might be seen by the customer and that whole wheel will get scrapped. It went through almost the whole way, you know, down the line basically to get created and, and at some point got scratched or something got compromised. And we just won't release products that are subpar. It's just not what we do. So he's polishing out the spokes right now, probably prepping it for black anno or for chrome, uh, which is something that a lot of our competition doesn't do. Uh, they tend to leave things in a much much more raw or surface and that's why our products have that jewelry like finish uh, that smooth to touch finish um, that that everybody really appreciates you see here they've taped off a lot of this in here and they're gonna get in uh, into these cracks and smooth polish these out to give it kind of a black on chrome effect, if you will. And right now they're running at a 99.9% .9 accuracy, which means he's not going over and burning any of the black or any of that other stuff. So it, it's, a, it's a skilled trade these guys are doing. And most of these guys have been doing it all their lives. That they took like that, that machine lines out and put it into a smooth polished finish that gives it a black on chrome look without stacking materials up on the wheel. We don't powder coat any of our aluminum here at Performance Machine, uh, it's all black anode. We don't do a black on chrome either. So uh, if you've got the contrast cut, it's a polish on contrast or on a black anode on, on, uh, on, on a machine surface. And then contrast cut platinum would be a, would be where we take the surface down one more step and, and polish it down into a, into a smooth surface like you see today. Otherwise, it's gonna have the machine lines, which is a great look as well but some guys like to have a little bit more of a shine to it and that's what the contrast cut platinum is that's our uh, it's our proprietary uh, finish that we are very proud of so he's about to take and drill 30 inch wheel i think right now and do the valve stem so it's a one shot deal here if he doesn't get it right it's back to the drawing board for the wheel but they're professionals they know what they're doing they do this all day So if you buy this, uh, we factory mount them on here and make sure that it runs true and everything's good. Same with tires, same with belt sprockets and everything. Getting stuff factory mounted here, you, you might as well, really. for visiting today. Uh, we checked out a little bit of Progressive, Performance Machine, and Burley. We'll be back to check out all three brands in depth, one in each series. So make sure to comment or um, like whatever you wanna see. Uh, let us know, uh, we'll, we'll get after it. Uh, also, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, and follow us on the Instagram channels as well. Uh, the Ride TV on YouTube and uh, at The Ride TV on uh, Instagram. All right guys, thanks for watching and subscribing. We, uh, we're gonna announce our winner for the 2BR. Two hundred and fifty dollar. What is it? Gift card. Yeah, gift card giveaway. So we're gonna announce that, and it goes out to Nate on two wheels. Congratulations, Nate.